I've been further encouraged in this mission, which I already knew was important, but I've had a, a lot of reinforcement in the, the ministry of Pope Francis and starting with the joy of the gospel, his urge that everyone in the church needs to be formed in the art of accompaniment. And he uses that term accompaniment and that's kind of come into our church vocabulary, I think very strongly. Everywhere I go, the word accompaniment seems to, to follow me and seems to already have preceded me there. And it's a word that we've come to appreciate a great deal. And I would propose that we appreciate it, especially because there is uh, such a breakdown in relationships in society. And it's a theme that's come up a number of times, uh, maybe in every session in this conference, is the importance of relationships for catechesis. Catechesis is not primarily a matter of information and uh, a kind of supernatural encounter with Jesus that happens in a vacuum. It rather is something that unfolds through relationships with a disciple. Disciples become disciple makers and share their faith with those who have not yet had that encounter with Jesus Christ. And so there's that dimension of accompaniment, facilitating an initial encounter, and then developing the knowledge and the Christian life that necessarily follows from that encounter and also helps that encounter with the Lord to deepen. And so accompaniment really happens at a variety of levels. And I'll, I'll touch on that in a, in a few minutes in my talk to see that spiritual direction is a particular expression of that. Uh, catechist is another expression of that. Uh, an RCIA sponsor is another expression of that. And uh, a parent is another expression of that. That's not an exhaustive list, but just to give you a sense of of some different areas that we find the importance of accompaniment in helping to form faith in others. 